Yesterday, the House voted to remove Republican Congressman Paul Gosar from his committee assignments after he had shared an anime video on Twitter that depe depicted him killing Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. But clearly, Gosar has absolutely no regrets because uh, he made clear that he didn't think it was a problem by reposting the video again. The same video he reposted within an hour of the House deciding uh, to censure him. So uh, here's a description of what was in the video exactly. The video's opening slide shows Gosar's name under Japanese text, which reads attack of immigrants, and then shows images of Gosar's face superimposed with the US Capitol and eventually on a sword wielding ninja that stabs a large creature with Ocasio-Cortez's face on it. So he had actually deleted the original tweet where the video was embedded and uh, he explained Gosar refused to apologize for the video and instead he said that he had self-censored out of compassion for those who generally felt offense and he also went out of his way to play victim on the house floor before this vote took place let's watch no matter how much the left tries to quiet me i will continue to speak out against amnesty for illegal aliens, defend the rule of law, and advance the American first agenda. Just if I must join Alex... Gentlemen's recognized 30 seconds. If I must join Alexander Hamilton, the first person attempted to be censored by this House, so be it. It is done. All right, so, uh, you know, he's the victim, you know, he's being censored here. Uh, and then, of course, shortly after that, uh, hearing, he uh, retweeted um, the anime video again and then deleted it yet again. We have another video of Gosar we'll get to in just a minute, but Cenk, why don't you jump in? So I wish the Democrats would add on top of this because so the Republicans have an uh, excuse for everything. And so they'll say weird racist things. And then when you go, hey, wait, that you shouldn't say that Mexicans are criminals and rapists. They'll go, oh, now you're making it racial, right? So in this case, they're like, oh, it's just a comic. What's the big deal? We executed it on a comic, right? Okay, but then Democrats should bring in all of the examples of their followers who are actually constantly doing real violence. Like one of dozens of examples that I remember from our coverage was the guy who went and beat up his neighbor. Um, or was it, did he shoot him? <laughs> it was a committed violence against his neighbor for having a Biden sign on his lawn. And so they're egging people on to actual real violence. So this is not a joke, and that's why uh, this censure happened. And now the Republicans say, oh, okay, uh, we don't care that you did this for a particular reason. If we win, uh, we're gonna censure Maxine Waters and Ilhan Omar. Why? Yeah, because we feel like it. And, uh, and they're on the left and they're black women. So of course we target them first. Don't make it racial. I, I Look, I don't know what the solution is. Uh, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep doing it. Uh, they feel emboldened by Democrats even responding to it. Uh, but if you don't respond to it, what do you do? You just like let them threaten you with violence? I mean, they're working together in Congress. I mean, things have devolved so much. I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> So um, later he went on Gitter and uh, just made this nonsensical, incompetent speech. Let's watch. Hey folks, I'm Gitter. This is Congressman Paul Gosar. I just got back from the floor where the Democrats have censored me for challenging their America last agenda. They should know I won't be bullied, even if they challenge me and try to take away my America first agenda. It's great to be on a service that's not going to be censored. And you even like cartoons. I love that. I'm looking forward to having great discussions with you. So tune in next time. Till next time, thanks again. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. That's my, that's my, there's really no, nothing else to say. I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene threatens violence all the time. Paul Gosar is now doing it. They're emboldened by it. This is what they represent. What are they doing for their constituents, by the way? What have they accomplished for their constituents? I want to know. What policies have they proposed? Uh, what policies do they champion, fight for? What do they represent other than we want to threaten the other side because we don't like them? I mean, I just, this is what politics is now. That's it. There's nothing left. 
on the Democratic side, you have Nancy Pelosi who's like, we might vote on the reconciliation bill today. Psych. That's the that's the Democrats. And then on the right wing, you have these nut jobs. That's all we've got in Congress right now. Yeah, guys, earlier in the show, we had a little bit of a discussion about, you know, the significant percentage of Republicans who believe in crazy conspiracy theories like satanic, uh, you know, child kidnapping cults and all that stuff, right? And whether they have mental health issues or not, or if they're just being brainwashed or some combination thereof. But when you see the Gosar video, no, no, that guy definitely has mental health issues. Uh, that He's not there at all. And and so you say, oh, yeah, you just from one video, you can't tell that. No, 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 he has like half a dozen siblings who come out and say consistently, you guys don't get it. Like our brother has issues. He has psychological issues. And so this isn't about blaming Gosar. So Gosar is personally responsible for whatever he does and he should be censured, et cetera. But what's amazing about this moment in American history and anybody can catch any feelings they like about it. But I got to tell you what the reality is. And historians will look back and go, oh, my God. Republican voters saw that guy and thought, nailed it. That guy is, can't, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he, nothing he says makes sense. He's uh, celebrating violence. He's clearly disturbed, mentally disturbed. And Republicans reelect him every time. They're like, mentally disturbed? That a boy, right? So we're in a really, really sorry state as a country now. And then you turn on cable news and they're all blaming Democrats and not even talking about how insane and radical the right wing is. And by the way, Kevin McCarthy comes out and says, oh no, if we want win re-election, we're gonna put uh, Paul Gosar and Marjorie Taylor Greene back on their committees. <laughs> and there's a poll out now saying, Americans, because of cable news, in my opinion, think that, the Democrats are too far left. Are you insane? The, the Republicans went so far right, they fell off a cliff. So just like, there's no hope. Trump came out and said, Gosar is, quote, my complete and total endorsement. Uh, yeah, of course, in, in literal insanity uh, has the Republican total and complete endorsement at this point.